artists have captured scenic moments and places in their works. This poem appeals to sensitive readers and listeners, especially those who relish beauty, peace and quiet. Although this poem was written over 100 years ago, the issues are still real and relevant. We still battle issues of pollution, heavy traffic, overcrowding, etc. And yet, we are still able to find beauty if we look closely. And what is more pleasurable than a sleeping city? A city untouched by noise, commercial and other activities. Here, the speaker who appears to be a sensitive onlooker sees what most would have missed the best show on earth, Mother Nature in all her splendor, untouched in her pre-dawn glory. We will look at the structure of this poem and the way in which it is used to reinforce the ideas in the poem. This poem is a sonnet. You will notice that the title announces this fact as well. This type of sonnet is divided into two parts the octave and the sestet. The octave, lines 1 to 8, in this poem is really one long sentence. Notice what is captured in this section of the poem. What do you find touching about this setting? Do you think this description could be sustained throughout the day? Why or why not? Now, we are at the other part of the sonnet, the sestet. Notice that these lines contain two sentences. You will see that whereas the octave is concerned with the man-made elements of dawn, as in the ships, towers, domes, etc., the sestet offers a different dawn experience. The sestet is concerned about natural beauty, the sun and the river, and the valley, rock, and hill. Pay attention to the use of personification and metaphor as devices to sustain and develop the idea of peace and beauty of the city at dawn. The personified mighty heart, line 14, is the extended metaphor of the city. However, at daybreak, it wears the garment of beauty. Here, we see the seamless merger of the man-made and the natural elements of the setting. The sun, for instance, is given the power to consciously make things more beautiful. Sonnets belong to the category of poems with fixed forms. Fixed in the sense that there are set lines, in this case, 14 lines and, depending on the type of sonnet, a set rhyme scheme. The poem we are studying is from the type of sonnet called the Italian or Petrarchan. You will notice that there are only two sound patterns in the octave, A-B-B-A-A-B-B-A. This is particularly effective since it ties in quite effectively with the peacefulness of the setting and helps to enhance the theme of beauty and tranquility. The sestet, CD, 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 containing two sentences, continues with the two sound pattern and is dominated by two strong nature images, the sun and the river. And all this celebration of beauty is reinforced by the extended personification of the city, that mighty heart that is lying still, line 14. 